Okay, Assalamualaikum and hello. Okay, today I will show you about how to search paper. Okay, so this is uh, is special for UTM student because this is on uh, this is access is only provided by UTM. Okay, so before I I show you how to search paper, I need to show you what is the level of paper so this called a uh, index okay index and another one you need to know is uh, is called a publisher okay index is basically a company okay or a uh, okay a company or website that index the publication okay it is not a publisher so basically paper is produced by a uh, of course uh, author and then published by the publisher so this can be either okay and be either i triple e okay or springler oh, sorry if i am mistakenly spell this okay or uh, another one is uh, I forget already but this is a publisher index is another thing they don't publish any paper they just show the level okay is it good or is it not so for UTM we use a uh, ISI index okay this is the ISI level which is very high then Scopus label, Scopus index is called Scopus index. Okay, and other one is a uh, uh, Google. Okay, if you look at the Google Scholar, okay, Google Scholar index. Okay, what it means that okay, ISI level is usually very high level. Okay, very high. The paper here is very good. Okay, that is the meaning of the index, the level of goodness. Okay, so if you uh, look at the Scopus index, it's also very good, but it is much more wider. And the largest one is the Google Scholar. Okay. Okay, for the research student, okay, postgraduate student, okay, master and PhD. We usually try to focus more on the Scopus and ISI. But for undergraduate, for final year project, or master coursework, master, uh, master project, okay. So we can focus on here. Okay. So basically, okay, if you do have something like this, okay. So basically, ISI is here. Okay. All the paper is here. I s i okay okay then the scopus also uh, the scopus the range of paper is much more larger so this one is scopus sorry uh, i use i don't have pen so miss that okay all isi paper okay all scopus cap uh, scopus paper contain isi paper but not all ISI paper in Scopus index. Okay. And Google Scholar are much more wider. Okay. So this is Google. G O O G L. -E. Sorry, I don't have the pen. Okay. That is how you know the level of okay. The level of uh, paper. Okay. Scopus is the smaller part, okay. Eh, sorry, ISI is the smaller part, okay. Scopus is much more larger scope of paper, and Google is almost everything, okay. So for depend on your level, if you are on the uh, in the FYP level, I suggest you just Google at Google Scholar, okay. So basically, index you don't have the paper. This is just a Okay, the level. Okay, they just produce the level. 
Okay, is it the paper good or not? Okay, that is mean by index. Okay, in ISI index, okay, in this, okay, in this, there are four level. Okay, Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. Q means quartile. Okay, the best of the best for ISI index is Q1. Okay, the Q1 is the highest index. Okay, Q2 is second place. Okay, third place is the Q3 and fourth place is 4. Means that if you have 100 paper inside the category in the ISI, okay, the rank from 1 to 24 is Q1. 25 to 50, uh, 49 is Q2 and 50 to 74 is Q3 and 75 to 100 is Q4. Okay, they will sort it by rank and then the highest rank is quartile 1. So this one is much more better paper okay, than Q2, Q3 and Q4. Okay. Scopus also have Q, okay, also have quartile but we don't look at it too much. Okay. We focus more on the ISI quartile. Okay. Scopus you can also look at the quartile. Okay. And Google Scholar don't have the quartile. Okay. So you understand a little bit about how the paper is ranked. Okay. Index is just a ranking. Okay. After you look at the ranking, then you can go to the publisher to download the paper. Okay. Okay, now we move on to the next part, which is how to access the paper. Okay. So, how to access the paper? You just search at Google Easy Proxy UTM. Okay, this is only for UTM student. Okay. If you are from outside, you can use, okay, your university access. Okay. So, for UTM student, you just search Easy Proxy, EZ Proxy. UTM. So this is the link easy proxy UTM dot. Okay, you go here. Okay, you insert your ID and your password. Okay, this is the exit. Okay, so log in. Okay. Now you have access to multiple library. Okay. Let me wait. Uh, this system is quite heavy, so you have to wait. Okay, it's not very fast. Even when your internet is good, it's still slow. Okay, it's loading already. So you can see here all the access you have. Okay, so if, uh, like I said before, you have index and you have a publisher. Okay. So, IEEE is publisher. Okay. IEEE is publisher. Science Direct is publisher also. Science Direct is, uh, you just click this. Okay. Okay. Science Direct is Elsevier, if not mistaken. Okay. So, it's a publisher. Okay. Scopus is the index. Okay. They don't have paper. They just rank the paper. Okay. Web of sign also don't have paper because they just rank. Okay. And another one is the Google Scholar. Google Scholar is open. You don't need account to access it. Okay. So let me show. Eh. So this is the Google Scholar. Okay. This is open. Open access. You can search anything here. Okay. They just index it. Okay. They don't give the publisher. Okay. If the publisher said the paper is not free. It is not free. Oh, yeah. Before I forget. Another thing that you need to know is access. Okay. Type of paper. Either it is open access or the uh, subscription. Access. Okay, so paper has two types, either open access or subscription access. 
Okay, for open access means that the author, the people who write the paper is pay for you, uh, pay for the paper and the reader which is you try to find the paper is free. Okay, you can open access means that the reader is free to access it but the author has to pay it. Subscription is free. Okay, the author is freely sent to the publisher but the reader needs to pay to read that paper. Okay, so you need to know. Okay, if you search, if it is open access, you can directly download it. But if it is a subscription access, you cannot download it. Okay, you have to pay. Or I said that your university has the access. Okay, let's explore. Okay, let me reload this. Uh, Web of Science or ISI. Okay, Web of Science and ISI use the same thing. Okay, so you can see here this is the Scopus. This is Google Scholar. This is Scopus Index, Google Scholar Index, and the Web of Science Index. Okay, if you want to go directly to the publisher, you can open the IEEE Explorer. Okay, or the Science Direct. Okay, so either these two. Okay, okay, for example, here you want to search. PV model, okay. For example, okay, you can search this. Okay, you can see the year if you want the new one because usually if you want to search, you have to look for five years. Okay, usually only include five years. Okay, you refine it. Okay, if you want open access, you have open access here. Okay, okay, and. You can see here, you can look at the paper. Okay. Okay, you can go here. Okay, it's quite slow. Okay, how about the Scopus? Okay. S C O uh, PV model also. Okay, you just search it. Okay. It's very slow, but if you use Google, it's much more faster. Okay, Google Scholar, PV model. Okay, automatically you get it. Okay, for the range, you set it five years from now. Okay, better to uh, find a latest paper. 2000, this one, this year is 2016, uh, 2021. So 2016 until 2000. Okay, if you leave it blank until the latest, just search it. So you can see here, you can. Download this, okay. Okay, this is open access. Okay, IET. Okay, IET is a publisher. Okay, you just download it, and some of it you cannot access it. Okay, this is open access because you see here there are PDF. Okay, ah, uh, you can download the paper. Okay, let me just click one of the example. Okay. Okay, this is just an index. They don't provide the PDF. You have uh, the PDF, uh, the link is just go to the publisher. Okay, then you can download it. Okay, that is how you use the index. Okay, for example, here you click here. Okay, and you can view at publisher. Okay, if you view at publisher, you can look at the publisher website. This is just an index. Scopus is just an index. Okay. So the detail, actually there should be a detail, but the website is very slow because we use a, a proxy. Okay. So this is the publisher website. This is by the ASME. Okay, find the download button. Okay. Okay, I think this one is in progress. I think it's not published yet. Okay, you have to find another paper. Go back. Okay, how about this is too new. Everything is too new, okay. Okay, view the publisher. For example, Okay, see, 
this is the Azeblia publisher. It will be open to the publisher and you can view or download the paper. Okay. Okay, that is how you find paper. Another thing that you need to know is, okay, if I open, okay. Another thing you need to know is research paper and review paper. Research, oops, sorry. Research paper and review paper. Okay, research paper is basically, research paper means that they are uh, introduction, a little bit of literature review, and then they goes to in methodology and the result and discussion and conclusion. That is basically research paper. It means that the author do the research. Okay, on the research itself. But the review paper is different. Review is basically reviewing other people's work. Okay, this one is basically a literature review. Okay, if you want to do chapter 2, okay, in thesis, you have chapter 2, okay, which is literature review. It's, bet, it's very good if you look at the review paper. If you want to start a research, it's better to you for you to look at the review paper because it will introduce you what is the research is all about. So, how to look at review paper and research paper? Okay, you can see here. Okay, this is a uh, web of sign or ISI. Okay, so you can okay see review paper and articles means that the research paper. Okay, uh, review article is uh, the review article is just a research paper. So for example, if you want re review paper only, click here, you refine it. So all of this is the review paper. Okay, review of PV array modeling. Okay, so you can look here. You will get a review paper. They do. Then don't do any simulation usually. They don't have any simulation any hardware. They just look at other people's work. Okay, that is how review paper. Work. Okay, same as here. If not mistaken, they have here. Okay. Let me check. Maybe type of document. Yeah. So you have review paper and articles so review paper is much more lower okay and okay this is publisher Elsevier science direct is the Elsevier publisher okay so that is how you find a review paper and the uh, research paper okay or article okay another uh, okay let has a look or uh, ISI. Remember that I said here, ISI have Q1234. Okay. So you have to look at the quartile. Okay. Look at here. Okay. For example, photo voltage in progress. Okay. You have searches. You want to know whether it is Q1 or Q2, Q3, Q4. You just click here and you see Q. Okay. If you look here, you have Q1, Q1, Q1. Okay. So, usually they have multiple rank. But, better to look at the lowest one. Okay. If they have Q1, Q2, Q3, it means that this paper is Q1. Okay. This is the impact factor. Okay. We, uh, in UTM, we don't look more on the impact factor. We only look at the quartile. Okay. So, Q1 is much better than Q4. Okay. That is how you look time. I think that's it. Okay. Uh, okay. Before I forget, this is the IEEE Explorer. Okay. Publisher. Okay. For IEEE. So, for example, PV model. You search this. Okay. Automatically, because you use Easy Proxy, you can see here the link is Easy Proxy. You automatically inside the UTM access. Okay. So, of course, you have this one. Okay, before I forget, uh, paper, uh, they are conference and journal. Conference is lower than journal. Journal is much more better. Conference has lower quality. Okay, if you want to use the paper as a benchmark or something, it's better to use journal. Okay, 
but the journal is not very many if you can see here conference is almost 12,000 but journal is only 2,000 okay so if you want uh, for FYP okay for undergraduate it's okay you can use conference and journals but if you are postgraduate for master and PhD I suggest you focus more on the journals okay Conference is much lower quality because they usually not detail. Okay, conference usually they have a page limit, only eight page. That's why it's not very good. Okay, and also the review process is much more simpler compared to journal. So focus more on journal. Okay. Okay, I think that's it so for downloading. Okay, okay, this is how you download it. Okay, just click here. Okay, thank you for listening.